I'm not seeing a Rays player. I'm seeing somebody who's just picking Rays on a map where Rays is good. Sometimes you, you want to use Crouch. Sometimes pro players do Crouch, but they do it as a choice. If you do it every time automatically, it's bad for you. But if you do it sometimes on purpose, it's good for you. Uncle Harry, congratulations on winning the raffle. Please post your VOD and your tracker GG. Starting mid. No. Nice try. We do not want to hold this angle though, right? Look at our, our classic pistol. It's not suited for that range. We also don't want to peek this. We gotta be careful. So we're over here, we just planted the bomb. We shouldn't peek this. Terrible for classic pistol, 39 meters is way too far. And now here we got the same idea, okay? So we want to clear the flank. We don't want to peek out like this. We want to either, you know, we have to peek this closer fight, but then we can walk up to this box. And now, you know, if we still want to peek flank, we can. At least it's closer, but I'd, I'd probably tuck here. Or, I just come this way. Somebody commented on my YouTube and I think it's kind of correct. When you have the classic pistol, try to almost think of it like how you would move around if you had like a shorty. Would you peek this with a shorty? All right, let's see you go crazy. I wanted it to be crazier, I'm not gonna lie. Forgive me, I'm not a raised player. But I know she can come over maze this way and land like here. I want to see some of that with our Spectre. And if you don't know how to do that, you should, because you're playing Raze. Be careful, probably, Harry. Sinatra does not try when he plays solo queue at all. There's a reason he's not top 10 on the leaderboard, and it's not because he's incapable of being top 10. It's because he blasts metal music and full autopilots every game. We don't want to copy Sinatra too much. We're looking a little like Sinatra now, too. We're doing the same thing every round. Nice. I like the hygiene there. I like the running gun. Reloading. Reloading. One enemy remaining. Yeah, change angles. This is really good. Yeah, it's really well played. Reloading. Back side. So we've always been repositioning after every fight which is fabulous, okay? However, on our 73rd fight of the game, sometimes it's all right to just stay in the same spot, like sprinkling them in like a little sauce. What I like to say is it's kind of like crouching in gunfights. If you do it every time automatically, it's bad for you. But if you do it sometimes on purpose, it's good for you, right? So crouch spraying, it's not bad. It's only bad if you're hardwired to do it. So staying in the same angle after a gunfight is not bad. It's only bad if that's what you always do. So if your default is to reposition every time, which it is, it's fabulous, love that, great habit you've built. Then you're kind of like the guy who's unbound crouch. Sometimes you, you want to use crouch. Sometimes pro players do crouch, but they do it as a choice. So here, I probably would have stayed top 410 as a choice and then dropped after really pushing a fight there. Yeah. Horizontal, horizontal. Bro, 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 you're not taking an orb right now. It's the last round of the half. You're at three out of eight. They have two alive. You know, it's kind of funny to me because I think unlike pistol round, yeah, look at this deja vu. We're going B long with our sage, but on pistol round, we run right past the orb. Even though getting the orb here makes total sense. Oh no, it's our eco, it's not even pistol, sorry. And I remember pointing it out. I'm like, oh, I probably would have taken the orb there. And now here you're like, oh, it's orb in time. <laughs> Coach Ruhujin said I should take the orb. Okay, so what I'm seeing on offense is a lack of raise main energy. Is Brad in chat? Let me get a raise main here. Brad. I need to show you what raise main energy looks like real quick. So this is Brad's like first game in general that he's played competitively, okay? Keep that in mind. But we were silver, you know, episode four, act one. And we got him up to Ascendant, although we're pushing for Immortal now. It's a very fast clock. Well, I was privately coaching him, guys. We're watching a raised player, and I'm telling him I can't tell that he's a raised player. If we watched a full uh, offensive half, and no part of it told me, like, oh yeah, this guy mains raised. So show him what a raised main looks like. We're on your screen, Brad. Cheats are on, do what you want. Uh, so offense... I feel like good cheese strat that's like a raise main type thing. 
He's not Jing does a lot of like satchel into that. Yeah, we uh, just saw Jing do that actually, and he like pre-fired through a viper wall. Yep. Look at this that raised is, blade. That is the one that I stole it from. He also uses the single satchel onto this. That's a lot, true. We just saw him do that, and we saw him you, do this. Yeah. Well, I mean, Jing is who I studied specifically. Defense, I feel like the really popular like alt that I always do is either this or there's one that I saw recently that's like the satchel lineup. I think it's this. That's dirty. Satchel oh, you know, lineup? <laughs> yeah, uh, that one's like... You just aim at that and toss it, and it lands there. Uh, which is also good for, like, random aggression rounds. And then there's also, like, for other random aggression rounds. Yep, yep. Landing like that. Uh, I mostly play A, and those are, like, my things for B. This is pretty much the main satchel that I do. You can land cleanly in that, but I fuck it up a lot of the time, but it doesn't matter all that much uh, a lot of the time in games. But you can land cleanly in there to be the guy that does this. Yep, yep. In which case, you can also did that. satchel around Oh, did you B-hop off that little box? Yeah, you can, like, skim the little box, uh, or you can use it to just single satchel up onto this, and then from here, you can get to the rope pretty easily. But, yep. uh... My goodness. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like those are no, like, that's the perfect. Main... All right, all right, all right. That was Brad. And to be clear, Brad is ascendant too. He's no fancy schmancy radiant raise mate, right? And you just saw the amount of prep that that man has for his agent, right? That's why we one trick. To be clear though, I mean I coached him from silver up to ascendant. So yes, I lean more on prep. But it still should show you that that's the big thing on lacking like when i'm watching you play i'm not seeing a raise player i'm seeing somebody who's just picking raise on a map where raise is good so go spend server time it'll make the agent 50 times more fun and you'll be better on her it's like a win-win so what i want to see us do is use cool meta double satchel with ult every single round we have ultimate up pre-round okay so in our next vod if you start the round with ult, I want you doing one of these crazy double satchels, like how Jing went over to uh, Maze or whatever. And this will force you to learn double satchels, right? Because you have to use one of these if you have ult in your next VOD, right? Or I'm going to close the VOD, okay? So if you bring me a VOD with Raze, and you're not using one of these double satchels with ult, I'm closing your VOD, and I'm telling you to go back and actually learn the agent, okay? Did you just see me give him an exact piece of advice I gave you, Brad, back when you were like Platinum? <laughs> I told Brad this same piece of advice, probably Harry, back when he was like, Platt. I was like, you don't look like a raised main. You don't satchel out enough. Yeah, it's in your notes, exactly. Like the way you're playing right now, if you had just picked Jet this game, you would be having so much more impact because Jet requires less um, prep. We're just not, we're a solid duelist player. We just need to have um, prep on the agent that we're playing on the map. And it's going to give us so much value. You've got no idea. We'll feel way more comfortable. I think we're lacking this flow state. Because right now I'm just seeing rounds where we're having a hard time getting into flow because we have rounds like this one. We get our first kill, we're super vibe, and then we do this like really awkward thing. And it totally breaks us out. Like this completely pulls us out of flow state and pulls us into like, oh, oh no, not what I meant to do. And you're super confused now and you know, you die, whatever, that happens. But if we had prepped, more on raids, we specialized her more, this wouldn't happen as often. These like, oh shit moments, or blackout moments, as some people call them. They're moments where the outcome doesn't match what your hands were trying to do, basically. And you can easily avoid that with uh, a little bit of server time, and it'll improve your confidence tenfold. All right, thank you for the VOD. Um, if anybody wants to see their own notes, by the way, these are all on a public Google Sheet. Let me pull them up. We're working on a website where you can just view them. But for now, if you want to view them, you just go to this link. Okay.